next, this highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own, 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Adesanya is five years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bors Chibayev. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last guy. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready. in this arena right now, two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. 
Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. All right, side control now. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. This is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh. Able to land the single ground strike there. Blood pouring out of that eyebrow now. That shot opened him up. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Ground and pound strike there now. with the ground and pound. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Adesanya's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Yeah, Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered. He's been beaten. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Five minutes in the books. Hey, stop. Listen, the eye's looking pretty bad here. We need 
All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the left. Unable to connect with the ring. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit. Oh! He's out! He's done. He's done. What a performance! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is, our UFC middleweight champion of the world. What an outstanding knockout here to finish the job tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Hazard Boris Kipaya. All right, so how about this result tonight as we congratulate the new UFC middleweight champion? It's a good thing you're not allowed to bet on these fights because, uh... I like the champ coming in, but this guy sat across from us and said, I am going to get the job done. That belt is mine. He's only been keeping it warm. Tonight he became the champion just as he said he would.